Okay, so we've got our template and I've opened up a new sheet and uh, what we're going to do today is just have a quick look at how MathCAD deals with defining variables uh, and then using those variables in a basic equation. So nothing too complicated, but let's see what we, can't, uh, what we can do with it. So the first thing you have to understand about variables and variable definitions is that MathCAD works top to bottom, left to right. And so if you're going to use a variable, it needs to be defined before you can use it. And it will look for that top to bottom, left to right. So let's see what we mean. So first thing we are, we're going to calculate the circumference in the area of this circle. So we need to define it. And so I'm going to define it by its diameter. And to do that, what MathCAD does is it uses this special equal sign, if you will, definition sign. Uh, it looks like an equal sign, but it's got a colon left, to it, left of it, which means that it's not asking it to calculate what D is equal to, but rather it's defining what D is equal to. And we get that by putting in the colon. So it's basically shift, shift semicolon or the colon. And now I can give it a diameter. And so we've defined the diameter as 100. Now, I'm purposely not putting in units right now because we're going to deal with units separately. Uh, so if you think, I'm just ignoring that, I'm not. But I will come back to it at the end. So we have diameter is equal to 100. Now, just this is a personal preference of mine. I tend to prefer to work in radii. So I'm going to define an equation. And again, I use that uh, colon uh, as a definition to say what is my radius going to be equal to? And so in this case, I don't want to do the math myself and say hmm, 100 divided by 2 is 50. I'm going to say that this is equal to D, which is already defined because it's above it, divided by 2. And now instead of using the colon, I'm going to press the real equal sign and it's going to go ahead and say, ooh, calculate what that is. And it comes up with an answer of 50. And that is basically the way MathCAD works. You define your variables or define your uh, functions and then have it calculate what the answer is. So now remember I was talking about the variables had to be defined above or to the left of it. And that's, let's see what I mean by that. So if I'm on the same line, and the D is defined before I get to the radius, then it understands what D is and it's able to go ahead and calculate it. However, if I was above it, it's not going to find it. It's gonna give me a red box around D because, and I'll just press on it and see what it says, the variable is undefined. And that's because it is below it. Now, if I'm on the same line and to the left of it, as I move over here, it also is undefined. So top to bottom, left to right. So because it's to the left of it, same sign, it will be able to uh, resolve it. And that affects how you are able to lay out your sheet uh, as you're going. But for the most of us uh, working in English, we're quite used to working uh, top to bottom, left to right. So it's not that big of an issue. So let's go ahead and, and calculate some things. And so I wanna get the circumference. And so I'm going to call that C and I'm looking at my brain, trying to remember the uh, equation for circumference. And I think it's two pi R. So I'm going to put in pi here and we'll talk about Greek letters uh, later, but there are a bunch of constants up here. And so I'm just going to choose pi and I'll show you a faster way to do that uh, in a later video. And so we have two pi R and again, I can hit the equal sign and come up with a value for the circumference. Now let's go on, we'll do the area. And area is equal to pi r squared. So again, we'll put in pi, multiply it by r. I'm just using the shift hat or caret, uh, and I'm gonna put the square in here, go to the right and hit my equals. And again, it's able to Calculate it. Now I'm a little bit anal, so I like things to be spaced out equally. So I'm just going to move that down and that gives us our area. And so that's what we asked for. And we're able to do that just by defining our um, diameter and then using a series of equations. And of course, equations can build on equations that precede it. Now, one of the things that I wanted to point out is that if I went and I added my area to the radius, it's going to come up with a number. 
Now, you, you should recognize that because area is in some unit of distance uh, squared and radius is a linear distance that those two are not compatible to be added together. But MathCAD doesn't know any better because we haven't defined any units. And so we're going to go and define units a little bit later and see how MathCAD behaves differently when it knows that they're incompatible. So just for fun, uh, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to scroll up a little bit. And so we've uh, extruded our circle now into a cylinder. And so let's uh, define a new diameter for it. And so I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing, D colon or define, and I'm going to call it 50 in this case. And notice the little green box. So this is uh, new to the latest versions uh, of MathCAD where it tells you that you're redefining it. Just gives you a little caution in case you didn't realize that you're still expecting D to be equal to 100, but now from here down or to the right, D is gonna be equal to 50 instead of 100. And let's give it a height or an extrusion height, H colon or define 100. No, not 1,000, that'd be really large. And let's just stick that in there. And uh, I like to do this where I integrate them into the images, but quite frankly, you could just have a whole bunch of givens in a column. And now let's redo our calculations. Uh, now, if I were just to incorporate the radius into here without redoing it, uh, it would still take R from up here. But of course, what I can do is I can just copy that, Control C, put it down here and you notice I get a different value because R has been redefined. And I can do the same thing for my area. Control C, put it down here, Control V. Again, you're getting that caution that you're redefining it. It's changing from what was above it. Move that down. And finally, I wanna know the volume. So volume is equal to our area multiplied by the height of the extrusion, and we set it equal, and we now have our volume. So that's about it. That's how um, MathCAD works. Uh, remember, we're gonna look at units. The, there's huge limitations to not incorporating units into this, and MathCAD deals with units really, really well. So very quickly, coming up, we're gonna have a quick little video about dealing with units and incorporating units into your MathCAD sheets. And you'll notice that for the most part, I always incorporate my units into my MathCAD sheets. Of course, as a good engineer, uh, magnitude without a unit is not a real number. So let's, uh, let's deal with that. So hopefully that was useful. You should have uh, your templates done. You, you now know how to define variables, use equations, uh, watch that top to bottom, left to right, and uh, we're off to the races. We're ready to, uh, to carry on and start to learn some of the advanced features that make MathCAD so powerful.